Hello Cancer, welcome to another love reading. This is gonna be a reading all about how your person is thinking or feeling about you, about the connection. We're also gonna take a look at what energies or intentions they have towards you. As always, this is meant to be a general love reading, so will not resonate with every Cancer watching. Just take what resonates for you, what applies to your situation. So let's get right into it, Cancer. Spirit, what messages do you have? For cancer messages for cancer hang on let me get my bracelets real quick forgot to put them on for cancer please in regards to love what does cancer need to know spirit in regards to love Okay, huge thank you to everyone who has liked, shared, commented, and subscribed. I read all of your comments, good and bad. <laughs> so thank you for all of your support, especially those of you who take the time out of your day to leave me such nice comments. I really appreciate it. I am taking personal readings. Ooh. Okay, they want me to take all of those. Hang on. I am doing personal readings. The link to that is in the description box. Okay, we got religious factors. This card for me is very similar to divine timing, spiritual guidance, spirit kind of guiding everything here in regards to a connection. Your love life is being, is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path, okay? We got pay attention to the red flags, the signs are cautioning you. So this is another um, spiritual card for me as a reader. Um, the signs are cautioning you is pretty much spirit or higher power, maybe angels, spirit guides. Um, trying to speak to our intuition um <clears throat> trying to show us things and of course we have to be receptive to that to get the message um love yourself first your self self-respect makes you more romantically attractive and then we got stay optimistic about your love life positive thinking and faith will bring you romance all right so Something about um, your intuition is speaking to you at this time. It's really important to listen to that inner voice, um, to seek spiritual guidance if needed, um, to pay attention to what spirit might be wanting to uh, share with us in regards to connections that we have with other people. Uh, love yourself first and pay attention to the red flags to me is a big message. Um, basically, love yourself enough to respect yourself and what you're worth. Um, pay attention to what is clearly not meant for you. And stay optimistic. Obviously, there's something better or spirit has a plan here. So I love those messages. Let's see what else we can get here with energy oracle cards. All of the decks that I use um, are linked in the description box if you're interested. Also, when it comes to personal readings, if you check the shop and there's not a lot of readings available, it's that they've sold out. But I do tend to restock on Sundays typically. So keep checking back if there's a reading you really want. All right, Spirit, what else does Cancer need to know? What does Cancer need to know, Spirit, when it comes to love? Community. This reminds me a lot of the Three of Cups. What else for Cancer Spirit? What else do you need to know? Oops, I hit my tripod. What else for Cancer, please? The world, okay. Interesting. I just heard the world is your oyster because that's what I think about with this card. So possibilities, potential opportunities. It also mean you know we do have a card in the tarot called the world so maybe ends of ending of a cycle for the potential or a new beginning a new chapter and the world is yours so it's basically up to you if you want to take advantage of the opportunity or the new chance that you have financial constraints okay so finances could be a factor in a connection here maybe what's going on in the world right now. It's 
something to do with a group of people, friends, co-workers, family. There's something here with a group of people. Let's see what we get with the tarot. Door to value at the bottom of the deck there. So again, the idea of an opportunity, possibly um, an opportunity to have more financial success or more stability. Okay, so let's get into it for Cancer Spirit. I'm using the Light Sears Tarot today. For Cancer, please. Of course, I can never shuffle this deck smoothly, so bear with me. It's very thick cardboard and my hands are already small, so, you know, the struggle. For Cancer, please. In regards to love, June 2020, please. Does Cancer need to know when it comes to love? For Cancer, please. Okay, let's get into it for Cancer when it comes to love, June 2020. Eight of Pentacles. This is effort, hard work, focus. Effort that pays off is what I just heard. Seven of Cups reverse. No longer any confusion or fogginess. Um, maybe someone has, out of many options, they've selected one. Something is clear. Uh, a goal is clear. Okay. What else for Cancer? Three of Swords. Three of Swords. Okay. Okay. All right, let's see what else I can get here before I... Something has been very difficult. Heartbreaking, disappointing. Two of Swords reversed. Again, with the idea of a decision being made. Someone's no longer stuck making a decision. This could be you, by the way. Cancer or the person you're dealing with because this is your energies together. Tarot is not black and white, so there's no way for me to tell you 100% this is you. Um, so this could be you that has made a decision or your person. Also, we do reversals on this channel. If you don't understand reversals in the tarot, please save your comments. Um, you can go to other readers here that don't do reversals, but I cannot control what comes out. Otherwise, what would be the point of this channel? If I already knew what message I was going to say. Reversals aren't bad. They're just a different message. So with the sun reverse, this is Leo energy here. Um, the sun for me as a reader, when, it, when it's reversed, it can mean a few things. It can mean unhappiness sure but more than anything a lack of clarity a lack of illumination when the sun is blasting or when the sun is up you can see everything but when it's not up then it's dark and it's so you can't really see there's shadows there's things that you can't see things that are hidden so something here having to do with someone it's like they didn't have the clarity about something or they lacked. It was very confusing because they couldn't see something clearly. What else for cancer? What else for cancer? Judgment reversed. Bad judgment call here. A bad judgment call caused a lot of pain.
This could be karma as well with judgment reversed. It could be someone that still needs to learn from their mistakes, someone that still hasn't grasped what karma was supposed to teach because we all have karma that we deal with and it's meant to teach us something. So when judgment is reversed, it's like someone was not able to learn or didn't learn from their past, their mistakes, etc. I'm going to be clarifying with the same deck. So let's start with this Eight of Pentacles. What are you working on or what's being worked on here? What's the focus here? Tell me about this Eight of Pentacles spirit for Cancer. What's this Eight of Pentacles about? For Cancer, please. Wow, another Eight, eight of Cups reversed. Someone could be working on returning to something uh, someone could be working on how to leave a situation. Let's see. Tell me more about Eight of Pentacles. Revert, not reverse, Eight of Pentacles, please. The Eight of Cups reverse, um, it can mean two very different things. Either someone is coming back that left or someone's unable to leave a situation. They're blocked. So let's see what we get here. Tell me more about the Eight of Pentacles, please. Okay, we got... Five of Pentacles and Two of Pentacles reversed. Again, with this, I, there's like a theme here where someone was possibly juggling two things, going back and forth about a decision, um, not sure which decision to make, but they weren't able to keep that up. One of these Pentacles had to drop. The decision had to be made here. So there had to be a choice. And that's why someone's working on on possibly um here's that five of pentacles this is that financial constraints card someone might be hard at work because their finances have taken a hit um, maybe their finances or the struggle that they're going through is keeping them from leaving a situation let's see if i can get one more here can i get one more for this eight of pentacles please can i get one more please the emperor reverse aries energy here so the emperor reverse this tells me that this is a situation that's out of your control and you want to make this you want to take action even though you might not have all of the resources even though you might not be as confident maybe um in this connection there's not a lot of communication or there's an emotional distance maybe you want someone to return to you or they want to return to you um, but in any case the decision has been made so whether someone has is stuck from leaving the decision has been made to leave or um, if someone's returning, the decision has been made to return, if that makes sense. Like the decision has been made. So there will be movement regardless. We'll see what else we get here as to if there's going to be a reunion. Now, when I see community, I think of the Three of Cups, with, which is all about reuni reuniting, coming together. Um, and I think this Emperor reversed here has been hard at work planning thinking, um, trying to gather the resources because they know what they want to do. Even if they might not have full control over the situation, they're going to still take action here. Tell me about this Seven of Cups reverse, please. These two came out. Four of Wands and Justice. Libra energy. This is this is balanced structure. This is a final decision. Something to do with the home. Something to do with harmony in the home. Maybe moving. Something to do with uh, again th this idea of celebrating reunions with the four of wands. Someone 
here was really thinking about how to stabilize a situation. Um, there were a lot of ways to go about this. There were a lot of ways to go about this and they chose one. And there's a high priestess. So maybe their intuition was guiding them on making this decision. Tell me more about the seven of cups reverse, please. And again, this could be you or the person you are thinking about at this time, Cancer. What's the seven of cups reversed about, please? For Cancer. Six of wands reversed. Okay, so something has not been successful. Something has not been able to come together. I have the temperance reverse at the bottom, Sagittarius energy there. And then Hierophant could be related to a commitment, a marriage, Taurus energy. Um, could have something to do with the home. And so someone wants to make things balanced in the home or balanced in a connection, balanced in a marriage as well. Because there's, there's something here that's not working out. Something that's not successful here. Could be legal as well. Hang on. Let's see, what's this Three of Swords about? Okay. The Tower reversed, Three of Cups reversed. So it's been painful because someone has been trying to avoid a Tower moment regarding a third party. I knew that Three of Cups was gonna come out. So there could be a third party interference here. Um, it could be that someone, the person you're interested in is already in a connection or you are already in a connection. Um, and so this interference has caused a lot of pain and disappointment. And uh, possibly part of the reason that it's been so hurtful is that someone here has been trying to avoid a tower moment and in doing so they're hurting someone else tell me more about this three of swords please for cancer tell me more about this three of swords please five of swords this is a lose lose situation someone here um, may maybe there was an argument or deception sorry guys I hit the tripod with my foot and it just went crashing down. So what I was saying is that someone here was not playing fair. Someone here possibly didn't want to sacrifice or lose something. And by acting that way, they've hurt someone else or maybe everybody involved. Um, this five of swords energy could have been bad communication or a lack of communication. So um, sometimes we can be deceptive by what we don't say. In any case, all it's caused is pain and disappointment here. So tell me about the Two of Swords reversed. Ten of Wands. A burden. This decision was a burden to someone at one point. They weren't sure what to do. Um, let me see if I can move this a little bit. They weren't sure what to do. They weren't sure which way to go. And, and it was regarding a burden. Tell me more about this Two of Swords reverse. Five of Wands reversed. The third five that we have here. So fives are all about challenges and conflict. So someone here wants to overcome the the fighting, the drama, someone doesn't want to deal with it anymore. Someone wants to fix things possibly or leave this behind. This is a burden, this drama, this fighting, this not seeing eye to eye. A lot of people here with the five of wands, too many people, too many cooks in the kitchen. Tell me more about this two of swords reverse, please. What can you tell me about this two of swords reverse? For cancer. Temperance reversed again. Sagittarius energy here. Uh, something was not able to come together in harmony. Something was not able to, maybe it was bad timing. Um, someone maybe lacked the patience or 
uh, was not interested anymore and so they stopped trying to have something come together. Maybe they, they realized that their efforts were better spent elsewhere. Two of Wands at the bottom here. So it's like they, they're they thinking of a different path. This world card is almost about, so it's like someone's like standing at a threshold and trying to figure out, or like at a crossroads and trying to figure out exactly where to go because they see that they have options. That they don't have to be dealing with this. Tell me about the sun reverse. Can you tell me about the sun reverse, please? About the sun reverse, please. Seven of Pentacles reversed. I keep getting this card. Uh, this is feeling like you've wasted your time, like you've invested in the wrong thing. Your your investment hasn't paid off. Tell me more about the sun reverse, please. Ten of Pentacles reversed. This is the card for me for family. And the sun also is a card with, well, in the traditional tarot anyway, there's a child. So there could be children involved here. This looked like it was a long-term connection. The connection here that is not happy, not uh, clear. Like a, It's like almost like there was too many secrets here. Tell me more about the sun reversed. This could also be that financial restraints card because Ten of Pentacles reverse sig signifies that or uh, symbolizes um, a lack of security and typically that's financial security. Tell me more about the sun reverse, please. King of Cups reversed. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy here. Someone is very... Uh, Heartbroken, disappointed, um, not stable emotionally because of what's going on. Uh, they're unable to use their intuition or to listen to their intuition. There could be someone in this connection that is emotionally trying to manipulate the situation. And we do this very, we all do this, by the way, guys. Um, sometimes we can make someone feel guilty and we do that on purpose and that's a form of manipulation. I'm just, just as an example, cause we're human. This king of cups could be using words to, um, words and logic and twisting the truth as well with the page of swords reversed or the communication is not very well or not very good right now with this King of Cups. Tell me about the judgment. Excuse me, hold on. <laughs> Tell me about judgment, please, reverse. Oh my God, what is happening? Okay, Nine of Pentacles reversed. What else for judgment? Someone knows they've made a bad judgment call because now they're stuck. Tell me more about judgment, reversed. They're now dependent on something or someone. They're not free. Ace of Cups. New love. Tell me more about Judgment Reverse for Cancer, please. Tell me about Judgment Reverse, please, for Cancer. Nine of Cups Reversed. Page of Swords reverse at the bottom again. So what I'm seeing is that someone here it's almost like they missed the boat on real love or true love. Or this is all they're thinking about, but they're stuck. They thought they had made the right choice. They thought they had 
made the right choice in this particular situation with a third party, but that wish was, it's almost like they got their wish, but it wasn't what they thought it was going to be. All these cups ended up being empty. See how they're like upside down? Two nines. It's almost too like someone put all their resources into what they thought was going to be the right decision or their wish. You know, it's like they not only did they make the wrong choice, but they put all their eggs in one basket with that wrong choice. And now they are tied to that choice um, and attached to it in some way. And it's like all they want is a new beginning, new love. All they want is to be loved. I don't think they have, they, they're experiencing that right now. Tell me one more for this judgment in reverse, please. 